Hey guys, so good morning. It's your beekeeper here. Wednesday morning. I know you're not getting these on a daily basis, but I'm out of the house by 7 and I don't get home till 11.30 at night this whole week, so uh, it'll get loaded when it gets loaded. Sorry for not the daily updates, but so my plan for today, Wednesday, April 11th, sand. Sand the walls. I got everything plastic off. Two coats of a PVA primer on the new stuff. Get a coat of primer on the ceiling. Maybe get that light ripped out of there. Get these lights wired in. This is my patch from yesterday. You can see the difference in color. It's not quite dry yet, so I can't. Maybe I won't get the ceiling painted today. I don't know, but I gotta go sand. Sand. That hole came out pretty good. The light fits nicely in there. Just a cold, real wet, rainy day today again. See, stuff hasn't dried. It's just too damp and moist outside. Where's that? There it is. Yeesh. All right. Get my breather, my respirator on, and start sanding. some cleaning to do I got top coat on everything this is still Wednesday afternoon remember what day it was and I got a, another job coming up I got to do tomorrow to one day hopefully I'll get it done in a day and I'll be back here Friday to stand and prime I was hoping to get stuff primed today but it's just because it's been so rainy outside and damp humid I can't uh, rely on this stuff to dry it hasn't dried so everything that's got second coat is just kind of what's these are all you know remember that one coat skinned out I did sand this lightly just to get any boogers that may be on the wall off and then what I do is I concentrate on areas like from here to about here these are the areas that are going to be visible once the cabinets are in place because we're not running crown molding around the whole perimeter of the kitchen just around the cabinets you remember the old cabinets had crown molding that's that space there and that paints like a sixteenth of an inch thick so as opposed to trying to feather it in by sanding it and dealing with that crap I just float it out so this area here got another coat you can see from here right because the top cabinet comes out about 12 inches all the way around till about there the old cabinets are coming 88 inches from this wall 96 is right here so I floated it back a bit the old cabinet and crown molding came out to here. I feathered that edge out too. Super thick paint instead of trying to sand it. I came in with like an eight with an 80 grit, not like. I came in with an 80 grit, knocked the, knocked the ridges down, and then floated it out so you won't see that. More than likely, the cabinet and the crown molding is going to cover that, the new stuff, but I don't know that for sure, and I don't want to find out the hard way. Patch the hole where the old fixture was. That's good. Oh, let me show you something here. This is the old thimble. Right. The old flue pipe came out here. They had the old school Wedgwood. The Wedgwood had one of those four inch chrome stacks that came out, took a 90 degree bend and stubbed into the wall there. Well, I figured I would keep that because well, as with every job, you know, you got a budget and that thimbles into the garage here into a, a an asbestos inner lining with a galvanized steel outer lining with a concrete base. Well, cost prohibitive to remove that, so we're just going to tie into the same one that stubs out to the roof line. So we're going to use the same vent off the side. I, I prefer coming straight up the top, but like I said, I wasn't about to disturb that asbestos pipe. And uh, she wasn't about to pay for it. just wasn't realistic to pay to have that thing removed. So we'll just deal with it. It's gonna, The pipe's going to come up through the top cabinet, make a 90, and then come in through the top part of the left cabinet. It'll be fine. But let me see what happened here remember top cabinets are only 12 inches deep and look at that the edge of the thimble is 13 and a quarter inches and I was sitting here doing the mud and I thought to myself well it looks awful far out from the wall let me back up so you guys maybe can see that oh so anywho I had to recess the thimble and then float it out 
So the edge of the hole, the edge of the hole is uh, ten and three quarters of an inch. So that should be just inside the face, the facing of the cabinet. So that's just five minute mud that's on there now. I'm gonna come in and hit it with some 20 and then hit it with some top coat. Now I gotta sweep and mop. Sweep and mop and then go to school. Okay, thanks. All mopped up. This is the way we leave it for today. We'll be back in a couple days. Friday. Almost forgot to pop those in. Yeah, the color's nice, huh? It's a little lighter than the dining room, which is weird. Because I don't. Yeah, that's nice. The contrast, that's nice. Loaded that up. Yep. There you have it. Thanks for watching.